Good morning. Um, on behalf of everyone at NLB Corporation, I'd like to welcome you to our uh, outdoor demo at the 2013 WJTA Expo. My name is Jim Van Dam. I am the Marketing Communications Manager for NLB Corporation. Um, we've got a number of neat new products to show you today. Um, the one I want to start talking about is the pump that you see behind us here. And uh, this is the new NLB 1005 series high pressure water blasting unit. Um, it is a, uh, a quintuplex version of the NLB 605, which is a triplex. So it has the exact same internal components in the fluid end. It's simply a quintuplex or a five cylinder as opposed to a, a triplex or three cylinder. Um, it, it has a lot of really nice new features. Um, one of the things is the operator station that's located at the back of the pump. And from this one spot, the operator can control the engine, the engine speed, uh, he can set pressure, and he can start and stop the flow of high pressure water. Um, the, uh, the pressure is set via this bypass valve right here, and it is an air actuated bypass valve, and it's a self compensating bypass valve. So once the operating pressure has been set, the unit in the control panel can monitor the bypass water going over that and make compensations to keep it pressure. Um, the start and stop of the high pressure water is controlled by this uh, dump valve right here, and again, controlled at the operator station, or if you want, it can be controlled remotely. Um, the power end for this pump has a lot of nice new features as well. One of the main ones is that it is internally uh, lubricated and, and it is a pressure lubrication system. And it has a number of internal passages in the power end so that the oil can be delivered to all the journals and the bearings. It also has an external oil cooler so that the oil stays nice and cool. Um, on the fluid end side, as I pointed out already, it is a, a quintuplex version of the 605. So um, when it comes time to work on this pump, the fasteners are removed, and the operator or the mechanic can rotate this shaft right here, which uses a mechanical system to let the fluid end, end down. So there's no need for anyone to lift it or to, or to have to use any sort of a device to manage that. It just rotates down. You put in your conversion kit or do whatever maintenance you need to do. Turn the shaft the other way. It goes back up, you put your fasteners back in, and you're ready to go. So that's a nice new operator feature. So that's enough about the pump. Um, today, we're going to run that pump along with a brand new 3D tool. Now, those of you that were here last year may remember we debuted our Torrent 50, which is a tool that was designed to run at 50 gallons a minute at pressures to 20,000 PSI. This is its big brother. This tool is capable of running at 20,000 PSI with flows to 200 gallons a minute. That's around 1,400 horsepower. And let me say that again, not 20 gallons per minute or, not, not 20,000 PSI or 200 gallons per minute. It's capable of flowing 200 gallons per minute at 20,000 PSI. Now, we've taken everything that we learned when we did the Torrent 50, and we've integrated those same features into this tool. Um, the flow path through the, through the design, the size of the passages, it all means that more of the horsepower, more of the power from your pump is getting to the work surface. Um, to work on the output shaft seals, there's two fasteners, there's four fasteners on one side, four fasteners on the other. You have complete access to the output shaft seals. Very simple, very easy. Uh, the input shaft, there's four fasteners at the top. Those come out, you have access to the input shaft seals. Um, setting the brake is very simple. It's a magnetic brake. You loosen four fasteners and there's a slider to uh, move and you can get it dialed in for the right, the right uh, speed for your application. Today we're going to run this pump and this tool at 72 gallons at 20,000 PSI. Um, if you wanted to run at 10,000 PSI, you could flow about 143 gallons. And to do that, you would simply install a simple conversion kit in the NLB pump. Um, some of you may be familiar with those kits. In this instance, it would be a, a, new, set of, um, a new set of cartridges, which houses the plunger and the, um, the seals, and then a new discharge valve um, seat. So it's, it's a very simple process. When we say convertible pumps, it means truly that you're not changing 
discharge manifolds, you're not changing fluid ends, you're changing a few components. You don't even have to, in, in a lot of our pumps, you don't even have to change the discharge piping. It's all standard. So again, today we're going to run this at, uh, at 72 gallons, 20,000 PSI, and what we're going to do is we're going to run this for about 30 seconds and we'll stop, we'll open it up and we'll let everyone see what the cleaning pattern is like. And then we'll button it back up and run it for another minute and a half and so and, and show how much coverage you can get in that small amount of time. Um, the, the product that's in here is, is really a spray foam. It's not meant to, to show how difficult or how tough a product is. It's really there to, to let you see what the cleaning pattern is like. So Mark, if you would. So that uh, it gives you a, a, an idea of, of what that pattern looks like. And for anyone that doesn't understand what we're talking about with a 3D head, what you've got is, is a, a tool that rotates in two different dimensions. As the reaction force of the water drives the arms to rotate, that in turn powers the rotation of the head itself. And so what you get after a period of time is 360 degree coverage inside of a, a spherical vessel or a tank. Um, so that's 30 seconds. What we're going to do now is we're going to button this back up and run it for about a minute and a half more, and you'll be able to see what, the, what it looks like after that amount of time.
So that was uh, approximately two, a little under. And uh, you can see even in that amount of time, the amount of coverage is pretty impressive. Um, we find typically that in a lot of jobs, you might need to run for five, six minutes. And that typically is giving you very, very complete coverage inside of a tank. So that is the new Torrent 200 from NLB along with the new the new 1005 series pump. So the next thing we want to show you is a new uh, tube cleaning system. Um, some of you may be familiar with our Safeflex line of um, tube lancing machines, tube cleaning machines. And what we've got here to show you today is the all-new Safeflex 2001. Um, it is a dual lance, flex lance system. And uh, it's, it's meant to give the operator a way to clean tubes um, in a, in a semi-automated way. It's got a lot of nice new features. Some of you may be familiar with the 2000, the Safeflex 2000. And this, is a, this has some really nice new features. Um, one of them that's obvious, if you're familiar with the previous tool, is the size of this tool. It, it is smaller, has a smaller footprint, it's lighter, it's simpler, it has uh, fold-down handles, it has a lifting bale, it has larger wheels. Just things that we, uh, we received as input from users that they would like to see in this. Um, it features a, uh, an oilless air motor, and it is an air motor that is, uh, does not require lubrication. Um, it also requires less CFM. It only requires about 65 CFM to run this tool as opposed to about 100, which is where we were at on the previous Safelex. Um, one of the things that makes it much, much easier to use and operate is the path that the lances take through the drive mechanism. This has been straightened out. Um, the places where these umbilical cords hook into the device have been simplified. Um, it's, it's a lot easier to set it up. Um, and it makes it easier for the operator to use and has less problems. Now, what this is connected to is an all-new Safeflex hose reel. And that's this device here, and it's used to manage the hoses. So you don't have hoses laying out behind you at the work site. You can use a hose reel like this to spool in and spool out the lances as needed. Now, it's connected to the Safeflex 2000 by a high-pressure line and also a single air line. And that single air line is what's giving the signal to this hose reel to do what it needs to do. Um, it has a single air motor, which provides continuous tension. So even as these lances are going out, that hose reel is holding tension so that the lances don't come unspooled on the reels. And it also has a single high pressure seal that's feeding both lances. So again, it's a simpler, smaller, more easy use version of the hose reel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this today for this demo, the, the water is being generated over here by a 225 series NLB unit. That's a, a well-known unit in the industry. This happens to be a 300 horse unit, but today we're only going to run it at about 18 gallons per minute at uh, 10,000 PSI. So Mark, if you will.
Thanks, Mark. Um, I do want to mention that uh, NLB has um, has a, a full range of high pressure equipment. We uh, we manufacture systems up to a thousand horsepower, as you can see here, and it pressures up to forty thousand psi. We offer a lot of different accessories, tools, hoses to do a high pressure water jetting job. Um, we have these products available for rent at a number of our branch locations. There's one here in Houston, um, and there's others all across the United States and even in different parts of the world. So I'd like to thank you all for stopping by and taking a look. Uh, if you have any questions about these products or anything else, feel free to, to take a look here when the demos are done, or uh, please come inside and take a look at our indoor exhibit, and we'll be happy to talk to you. Thanks again.